Hello, my lady. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Coast Coast with me, Sine Kamandoi. So today, before we get into anything, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for always choosing me. I know there's a lot of channels out there that are more entertaining than a channel about books. And I want to thank you so much for always coming back here. Um, I don't take the 40 views for granted. They mean a lot to me. And thank you so much. And without you guys, I know what I'll be doing. This is what I love. I choose to do this. And thank you, thank you so much. So now, Sanjay, I'll be doing a book review, a children's book by one of my favorite authors. Like, in the world, like, period. This is my favorite author ever. And if you are interested in that, please bring your new news. And um, I'll see you on the flip side. So before I show you this book... I want to tell you a little bit about the book. The book was published in 2018 in South Africa. It is suitable for children from the ages of 8 until 12 years old. It has a narrative text, also a scientific text. And um, yeah, it's also available in all South African languages, in all the 11 languages. So you can get the book in Isikosa, you can get the book in English, you can get the book Afrikaans, Chivenda, all the languages that you can think of that are, um, are South African. And um, yeah, that's about it. Let me show you the book. Are you ready? I haven't told you the order, right? Okay. Are you ready, ready? Are you ready? Look how beautiful that is. Look at how beautiful the illustrations are. Are you ready? Are you ready, ready? Are you ready? Okay. So, the title of the book is Skin We Are In. You know who? You know who? Balongu Mama, a doctor to you. O Mama, a doctor. C D W Ma Go. illustrations by Leanne Fellman. To the ladies whose names I said after Umar Musindu Amai Ghana, if I mispronounced your name, I am sorry. Now let's get to the synopsis of the book. So Glengwadi, we follow Unjabulo with his classmates. His classmates, namely, we have Ukris, um, Urushni, Utim, Kunyeno, no, Ayisha. So these five children come from different backgrounds. And Sitibana and Nabo, after they have given a e e project by Utishalawabo, is schooling. So the project Yabo has to be about recycling, but it also has to have a socially relevant element. And Unjabulo, can we ask Uber yo guys, my uncle has a script yet. How about we go this to manage the ideas it i'm sure there's something great that we can come up with and then can go little do they know though that i'm a figure by a script yet was a divana numalu megan jabulo and then numalu megan jabulo is gonna take them to such a beautiful historical information information about um their history the difference in our colors um it's about our backgrounds our culture our heritage um our geographic um differences in the world and it's such a beautiful lesson for the children they become very in awe and they question everything that tumalume that tells them they are very enlightened about the information by fumana yokumalume and it's a very very beautiful guys it's such a very beautiful Beautiful topic it's such a beautiful lesson for all children and um, if it was for me I believe this book would be in all schools in South Africa because it's very important and it's a line to about where children don't see color children do see color a black child sees that oh, okay this person does not look like me let me look at that person but what's important is that as parents as guardians we tell the children that yes we are different in color but we are all the same and um this is what this book is addressing so the 
themes as he landed really most importantly it was very educational for me there are things i mean um, but okay i didn't know that because the girl didn't really do science in school but anyways we have uh it's very educational like i said um it's very scientific and it is environmental it's humorous as you know like you can't write something that is really heavy for children it has to have some humor and we have that in the book but the main theme in this book is education it's very educational it's probably like a lot of things that i feel like as adults isn't it that i feel like we are also naive about and it also impacts the colorism and how people see uh as new colors as inferior to other colors and it also identifies the amount of work that still needs to be done for people in south africa or people across the globe and um i love that Yabandwana, because as umdana you will grow up knowing that you are not special because of your color you are not inferior because of your color and you shouldn't see other people as otherwise because of the color of their skin it's a very important book guys like i said very very important and if it was up to me it would be in primary schools all over the world so um yeah i really liked it i enjoyed it i haven't really read it to my children you know, most I I have a book club for my babies, for my babies. I haven't really read it for for them because I wanted to be in it closer. So the second I get it, yes, closing note, I'll make sure that I read it to them and make sure that they understand the importance of the book. But all in all, like I said, Nwadi, that is very important. I recommend the book to anyone out there and um who take a lot at the moment is running a sale on the book it's currently 28 percent off yeah so i think it's 100 and something it's very affordable guys i'm not advertising take a lot or the authors of this book i'm just advertising the importance of certain topics that are very very important in the world and this is one of them and um yeah i think that's about it for today i've learned a lot in this book uh is you know that i also didn't know things that are also gave me an aha moment as oprah would say <laughs> and um yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video and so yeah tell me how how you feel about the 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 the, the curriculum that are in our schools do you think Topics like this should be introduced in schools or you feel like nearly children be children They will only understand this in the classroom and and um, yeah Just share with me in your comment section as for now. I think it's time for me to get out of here So until next time be safe be kind peace be still